Got him. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's a slot. Got him. Got him. Wow. Oh my lord. There you go. Finally, baby. There you go, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Evan with SaltStrong, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some footage that I got from a recent inside report where I happened to uh, locate, stock, and sight fish uh, some redfish that I found out of Topsail, North Carolina. And guys, the fish were very, very spooky on this day. They were definitely in survival mode still, but all I used on this day was artificial lures, so stay tuned to find out how I pulled this off. All right, guys, let's go explore around this uh, high tide area. So guys, on this trip, I really just searched for uh, quite a while. My original intention was to keep standing up on my kayak, like you can see, and I managed to see some redfish kind of in the grass lines, protected by the wind. So they were really, really shallow in this kind of grassy area. So what I really did was I kind of just managed to push my kayak oh, through okay. the grass, through yeah. this little uh, tiny opening, as you can see, and then I started to see a bunch of redfish feeding. Uh, just slightly on some smaller baits like you know minnows and smaller mold that were nearby And I was definitely seeing some tails in the water as well as you can see here So to give myself kind of a more stealthy approach I kind of positioned myself behind these little grassy patches just you know putting a little bit of structure between me and the fish to uh, you know, not completely give myself going. away and to give going, a little stealthy going, going, approach going, going. and oh, I managed to catch it. multiple fish going, by going. doing this. Yes, I got him. I knew that was reds. He's in the grass, he's in the grass, he's in the grass. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. I can't believe I got him. <laughs> that was so cool, man. That was awesome. <laughs> there you go, guys. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go this way. All right, see you, buddy. All right, let's see if we can get some more out of that school, guys. Go after it. Go after it. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh my God. That was awesome. Awesome. That was awesome. Oh boy. He's in the grass. Um, it was kind of difficult casting and getting these fish kind of, uh, you know, around and through the grass towards the kayak, uh, you know, without breaking off. Uh, you know, I got uh, certain fish stuck at multiple times, but, you know, it was still better than, you know, getting super close up to the fish and just spooking all of them all at once. So uh, doing it this way, I managed to catch fish. Um, uh, a little bit more efficiently. And guys, having that uh, 10 pound braid, being able to cast a little bit further, definitely made all the difference this day. Uh, with my first setup versus my second setup, I wasn't able to cast nearly as far. And you know, with the mulligan is what I used at first, uh, you know, I managed to cast very, very far, all the way to the other set of uh, uh, little grassy patches and just twitch my lure just good enough to get uh, reaction strikes from these fish. Oh boy, come through the grass, oh boy. Nice. That was cool. There's another one. <laughs> oh, oh, we came off. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> that doesn't normally happen. Guys, I'm just working the uh, mole again with a really slow retrieve, and that is uh, getting the job done. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a good cast. Got him! God, what a hook set! That was awesome. <sighs> come on, come on! Yes! What fun this is. <laughs> These guys are all about the same size. Probably like 13, 14, 15 inch fish. A ton of fun though. Still so much fun. This is a lot of uh, really good practice, guys, for sight casting and uh, practicing your slow retrieves and how to get a reaction bite. See you, buddy. Look at that, right there. Got him, got him, got him, got him. That was awesome. Love setting the hook on these fish, man. That was so cool. Oh, he got off. <laughs> That's okay, he can get away.
Got him. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's a slot. I just caught a slot, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Urgh. Oh my gosh, I just got a slot, guys. Urgh. Wow, that was quite a reaction bite, wasn't it? <laughs> He's on the grass. Yep. He's on the grass. Oh, did he get off? Oh my gosh, no, he's still on. Oh my gosh. He's still on. Oh my gosh. He's still on. Oh my gosh. I thought that fish got off, man. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, isn't it? I knew there were some slots in here. Yeah, that's a slot redfish. Oh boy, look at this. I got grass on the tip of my rod. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh lordy. This guy is gonna deserve a net. Look at this guys, I got grass on the tip of my rod. Oh yes. I knew there was a slot in here. There you go. Yeah, it's like a nice 22, 23 inch red right there. On the mole again. <laughs> I knew there was a slot in there, man. I was seeing some bigger wakes and I was like, that can't be puppy drum. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this fish go. Yep, yeah, it's like a nice 22, 23 inch red right there. Nice. So guys, after I released that slot, uh, I noticed the fish starting to move with the falling tide. So the wind and the tide uh, were going the same way. So I managed to kind of, you know, follow them and go actually around this little area and kind of intercept them at this one uh, position. So I positioned my kayak, you know, behind some structure, you know, behind some grass lines again. And that way I managed to kind of still have a stealthy approach and land multiple fish by doing it this way. Uh, at this point, they were kind of feeding a little bit more. You definitely had to retrieve your lure very, very slowly, just with slight twitches to get reaction bites. That was so cool. Awesome. <laughs> uh, that might not be a slide, actually. Probably just under. Still a lot of fun, though. Let's let this one go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. That one wanted a shrimp. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at that blue tail. That was awesome. There you go, guys. <laughs> oh, he's going back. <laughs> he wants more. Guys, after a while, I eventually uh, trade out lures for uh, a lighter jig head. So I actually tried uh, a 16th ounce jig head just for a really, really slow fall. And with a three inch uh, minnows by Z-Man is what I use, the slam shady color. And you know, with a little bit of scent, that seemed to get the job done after this. And with the fish moving, I just kept moving with the current and it happened to kind of relocate them and kind of position myself uh, behind this uh, next grassy patch and just kind of, you know, keep a stealthy approach for catching this school of redfish. Nice fish, man. Good fish, man. Heck yeah. Oh no, he's gonna go in the grass. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Come on, come this way, come this way, come this way, come on. All right, I'm gonna go through the grass. I don't wanna lose this guy. Oh boy, <laughs> the struggles of kayak fishing sometimes. Are you out? Get out of there. Ugh. Oh no, 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 don't go in the grass. No, 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 get out of there. Look at that red. I got him. Oh, do I still have him? I think I still got him. Yep, I got him. Oh man. Oh, what a struggle that was. <laughs> that was so difficult. That's the second slot in a row that's tried to break me off in the grass. Finally, baby.
Oh, that was such a hassle. Redfish for you guys. <laughs> All right, let this bad boy go, guys. You deserve to live after that fight. Heck of a good fight. You made me struggle. And the fish were definitely reacting a little bit better to the smaller profiles. Uh, the slot redfish especially were uh, definitely striking them a lot harder and a lot more aggressively. Uh, there happened to be, you know, a few slots in this little school and they were definitely keyed in on the smaller baits. So changing that lure made all the difference this day. And I managed to get on not only some quantity fish, but uh, some good quality slot size redfish as well. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. That fish hit it a second time. Okay, all right, let's not make the same mistake last time. Make sure he stays out of the grass. Wow. Oh, he got off. Oh, he got off. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Oh, wow, they want this smaller profile hard. Got him. Oh my gosh, guys, I think we're on a school of slots now. Wow. Yeah, we came across a lot of slots. 16th ounce jig head in the uh, Minnow Z is definitely getting the job done. Hopefully, I get this one in. your mind got him <laughs> got him that time that is the third well that would be the fourth slot of the day if I landed that last one there you go guys <laughs> that's so cool man oh this one's got a scar on him look at that guys He's seen some better days. Okay guys, so I just released that one. The batteries of both my cameras died simultaneously and there's still more redfish right here in front of me. They're like 20, 30 feet away from me. So I'm gonna keep casting and keep trying to get more of these guys because I know there's more slots right, like look, I just saw a tail right there. Oh, nailed it. Got him, got him, awesome. Awesome. It's a smaller one. Still a ton of fun though. <sighs> All right. Let's let him go. They keep going back that way, even though I'm releasing, releasing them that way. They want to be with their family. Got him. Wow. Oh my lord. That was quite a hit. He slammed that thing hard. <laughs> awesome. All right, I am proud of that hook set, guys. Look at that one. This one wasn't coming off. <laughs> There's no way this one was coming off. All right, guys. Say goodbye to Mr. Slot. Nice. See you, buddy. So, guys, that is what I got for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, finding that school of redfish was a ton of fun, and especially stalking them and sight fishing them. That's kind of my bread and butter, so I had a blast doing it. But guys, I'll just say that it definitely wasn't easy. I had to retrieve my lures just right, uh, very, very slowly with, you know, just barely twitching those lures in order to get some reaction strikes from those fish because they were definitely in survival mode. So as far as the tackle, again, all I really used on this day was the uh, mulligan on a Haas Helix hook. Uh, this is an eighth of an ounce Haas Helix hook, and this definitely got the job done for the most part at first. But then guys, after the bite kind of died down a little bit, I switched over to a smaller profile. This is the three inch minnows or uh, minnow Z by Z man, and this got the job done. Uh, I was able to pull off uh, several slots off of this one in particular, and uh, as well as the jig head with this. It is the Destroyer jig head, I believe, by uh, Slayer Ink Lures. It's a really good jig head. Uh, this is a really excellent combo, by the way. And guys, all of our lures can be found on fishstrong.com, uh, and 
and also at a discounted rate of up to 20% off if you are an insider as well. So just think about that and keep that in mind. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about stocking and sight fishing redfish. Make sure that you're staying tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.